Hey everybody, my name is Mr. Fragrance. I'm back with another video. It's pretty cool. It's going to be a top seven like or dislike fragrances. These are fragrances that are in my collection that some of these girls smell, some they haven't, and it's going to recap some of them. So they're going to give you their honest opinion see if they either like the fragrance or they dislike the fragrance. Real simple. I'm not going to break down those because most of these I have reviews on my channel. You can check my videos down below. So we're going to start off with number seven. It's from the house of Shamar Noir, Old, Old Factor Studio. And we're going to see if they like the fragrance or dislike the fragrance. Really simple. So number seven. See if Risa likes the fragrance. Ooh. Yes, I do like it. Okay, so we have a like here. Mm. One like. Yeah, I can smell it oh, mm -hmm. already. Mmm. Yes. This is a mm. this is lovely. Yep, that's hot. Okay. <laughs> so number seven is <laughs> it's, it's it's sexy noir. fragrance. Yeah, it's yes. pretty sexy. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's a yeah. warm. Very so nice. Warm. Very nice. Is it really strong or is it just, just normal? Is it over strong, overpowering, or just it's just nice no, and subtle? Not overpowering. Not I subtle either. Yeah. In the middle? Just right. Yeah. Just right. <laughs> okay. Number seven. Chalet <laughs> Noir. Mm. Number six fragrance. Ibre Tribalon. Uh remarkable people. Let's see if they like this one. Remarkable people. This was very nice. Okay. Very clean smelling. Oopsies. Hmm. Oopsies. <laughs> yeah, kind of apple -y. Okay. Yeah, but not the, I said it, something was angry apple once. This is very nice. Nice. <laughs> nice, subtle. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. I like that a lot. Okay. Yeah, I like it. So, mm -hmm. number six, Remarkable People, East Table Lounge. Now we're going to jump into the number five. Number five on the list. Terry Mugler, Cologne. Bottle's really nice, pretty cool bottle presentation. It is nice. Mm-hmm. They're pretty. This one, um, it, I mean, it's completely inoffensive, very simple, very nice. Um, it's okay. Okay. It's, um, I like it. I mean, it's just... I like more complex things. How do you feel about it? It's okay. Okay. It's just kind of boring. It's not. It's not offensive. Mm. It's. It's not bad. It's not. It doesn't. It smells good. It's just not that interesting. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm sure someone has the right like body chemistry to make mm. it really nice, but just by itself, definitely, it's not my favorite. Mm. I think a good beginner Sorry. cologne. It's a great mm. beginner cologne. It's just basically it's fresh, it's clean, it's something like a yeah. soapy kind. It's nothing that you're mm. gonna wow anybody by, but it's very nice. If you just if you're not mm. in a cologne and you just wanna wear something just to smell clean all day, or for I got about a good six hours on my skin wearing it, it's just fresh and clean. It's just simple. You're not gonna offend anyone. Yeah. Like you can wear any, this. You can, yeah, I think a beginner, yeah. like yeah. just starting out. Fragrances, yeah. It has its place. It's not it's not bad by any means. It's soap and just, apple. Soap yeah. and apple. <laughs> yeah, it's just not that interesting. Now we're going to jump into number four. Number four, VIP, Man Party mm -hmm. Fever by the house of Catalina Herrera. So the bottle presentation is really nice overall. So let's see if the ladies like the smell of it or not. So I picked this one up overseas. I was on vacation. Bottle is nice. It snaps into place. You put any angle you want to put it, I it snaps into place. Cap. So you know you won't, you know you won't lose the cap. I do like this one. Okay. It's um, it's very different. Okay. Um, they say it has patchouli mm. in it. I don't smell it at all. Mm. Um, and it says it has party um, fever. grapefruit. Has notes of yes, it is citrus and apple in it. And they say it has notes of cannabis, which I do not smell the oh, cannabis, cannabis at all. Nice. And it's just I don't I don't smell it. I if one reviewer told me he smells in his on his skin, I don't, but maybe other people mm. do. I have I guess it. it brings it out in some people. Skin, yeah. Skin it's... chemistry is gonna be a main factor, but I don't get it on my skin. Mm. Never got I like I like that one. I do. I too. do. Yep. It's it's a good one. It's different, it's Super complex, interesting. Yeah. it's interesting. Um Yeah, I definitely smell like the... both the cigarette kind of Okay. And but it's subtle. 
Okay. Not in a bad smell. way. No, because oh, I can't. Bad not offensive. Can't stand cigarette smell. So it's not. <laughs> so it's not offensive. It's not like that. No. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Nice. Now we're going to jump into the number three. Number three is the 2018 Jean Paul Gaultier in the Navy. This bottle was very crazy. My girlfriend's going to give her opinion on it. <laughs> Please be described, this might be a little inappropriate, but she's gonna give her opinion anyway, so here we go. Bottle's a dick. <laughs> it's feel it's weird unnecessary. It. <laughs> Very, it's too much anatomy, okay? <laughs> I know they do this with like lady bottles too. <laughs> and like I want that Nicki Minaj fragrance that's like just her body. I do not want Kim Kardashian fragrance that is her body. I don't want that, it's weird. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, I don't want a bottle with a dick on it. That's just, that's just what I'm gonna. That's that's my opinion. Yeah. And and an ass and to an be ass. perfect. Yeah, actually, frank. he has a very nice ass. <laughs> this bottle does. It's, it's not necessary in a bottle. But it smells <laughs> very nice. I do like the fragrance that comes in this it, overly sexualized <laughs> bottle. I do too. Like you said, okay. Mm. This is 2018. This fragrance is nice. It's just, I only I get about an hour of projection, so. Why all his bottles look like this? <laughs> so, this is a 2018 release. The price is pretty high, looking about $92 at Macy's for this. Um, if you have the other ones, they're way better to projection longevity. This mm -hmm. is okay. It's not the best. I got one hour projection. I got about five hours longevity on my skin, so it's not going to get you through the work day. Um, there's other fragrances, or you can get the older ones, and these are way better. So, both the girls like it, which is awesome. Besides the inappropriate stuff with the bottle, but the fragrance smells nice, so that's awesome. So we're going to jump into number two fragrance. Number two fragrance here is fragrance by the House of Killian, which I've never tried in Killian fragrances. I have a first impression down below if you guys want to check it out. This fragrance is called "I Don't Need a Prince by My Side to Be to to Be to Be a Princess." Very weird. They have different bottles with different uh, explanations on it. My girlfriend is just I, I read like all of them. The They're funny. Fallout Boy of like fragrance titles he was reading a bunch of them to me last night and i was like what <laughs> so, but i love it i appreciate so, it so spray this and see how it sprays is that a unisex one uh most i asked the lady at safari she said a girl or guy could wear it but okay. she said it mainly towards women but i oh, smell okay. it and i feel like girls I mean, can you're talking about okay. being a princess right i was like yeah. mm -hmm. but it smells really nice it has that ginger in it Very nice. Yeah, I don't think it's like overly feminine oh. at all, actually. Um, I don't know. What do you it's think? Fruit. It's fruity mm -hmm. and it's not citrus. Okay. And not that this matters a lot. I do think of that as being more feminine. Okay. Um, Maybe you got that more. There's some van I think there's some vanilla in there, too. So, okay. yeah, like fruit and vanilla is a little bit girly, which is fine. I mean, it's really nice. Ooh, but there is a little something on, on the... I mean, it literally says princess, so this is clearly yeah. geared towards women, but... I like it. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. Like, what's that f finishing scent? What is that? Do you Can think I it's know? ginger? Because I know there's yeah. ginger in I here. I think be. there's My green tea in here, and I know there's marshmallows in it, too. Marshmallows. It's in it. so marshmallow. Yes, yeah, marshmallow. Yeah, because it kind of starts <laughs> off fruity, and you fell in, and you hit marshmallow. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> uh, I like that. So this is more... <laughs> So it smells delicious. Yes. So do you think it's more of a it smells fragrance? Smells like a lovely dessert. Um, you females would wear, or would you have a guy wear it? What I do you think? think it's for girls. Girls, okay. But yeah, I'd wear it. I totally mm. wear it. Yep. You want to be a snack? Okay. As <laughs> yeah. kids say. By Killian. You know. Check this one out if you haven't checked it out. It's a brand new 2018 release. They have a couple other flankers too, which I have to try out. So I'm gonna give you my opinion when it's the full review coming soon. I love you, just like. <laughs> smelling it. <laughs> now we're going to jump into the number one top fragrance it's right here. It's a fragrance called Tom Ford Lost Cherry. I didn't buy a bottle yet because it's very expensive. I'm going to get into that in a few minutes, but I'm going to have a lady smell it and see if they even like it. So, because if women don't like it, there's no point in buying this fragrance because it's too expensive. I'm just going to leave it out right there. If you like the fragrance yourself, go ahead and buy it. But I'm going to tell you the price point and then you can go from there. Do whatever's best for you. Spray a little bit here. Good for you. And see if you like it. This is Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So it's like, I mean, mm, good projection. Mm -hmm. it smells like cherries. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny because when he was telling me about this, I thought it was gonna smell like like oh. cherry cough syrup, okay, or something. Mm. And it doesn't. It's actually very nice. 
and that's super interesting, super interesting for something that seems like it's really concentrating on one note. You know, mm -hmm. obviously there's other things in there. And it's like cherry and watermelon. Mm -hmm. okay. Like, I almost, there's definitely other things in there. Mm -hmm. It is complex mm -hmm. for being very focused on cherry. Mm -hmm. It's sweet. It's, is this with the ladies? No, this one's no. unisex. This is a unisex okay. fragrance. Okay, okay. I think Tom Ford is sense. definitely... Mm -hmm. They have some. He he's a lot. They have unisex. female ones and they have yeah. men's too. But this is more of unisex. I talked to the Tom I feel Ford like a lot of this lady. stuff is unisex. But mm -hmm. I mean, I'm no expert. Now I feel as if this fragrance is nice. If you want to stand out, like if you're going to a wedding or it's your wedding day, or maybe you're going to I propose mean, to your girlfriend, stuff, that's awesome. Like... You know, if you want to wear this fragrance. But three hundred twenty-five, three hundred twenty dollars is a lot of money for a fragrance. Only a fifty mil. So the bottle's about this big. It's not that big. Oh my And then God, if you want to get the big bottle, the big, I think it's a. 6.7 or a seven ounce bottle, a real big one, is about $800. So this fragrance is expensive. That's why when I did the first impression, I didn't want you guys to buy this fragrance. It smells amazing. It yes, smells like very cherries. Nice. What yes. is he doing to these cherries? So it's very nice, but I can't it recommend is. you to go out and buy this fragrance. I would suggest you go out and get a sample or go to the Tom Ford store that's located inside Nordstrom in your retail stores and just smell and see if you like it. I can't tell you to buy it. But if it's you- It's lovely. You know, I like it. But that's it's a lot of money, yo. Yes. Do you have money to burn? Yeah. Go ahead and buy it. Yeah. <laughs> it's I feel lovely. I feel there's a bunch of other fragrances. You can buy two to rich? three fragrances on the list of other fragrances that you can be happy with. You can wear all year round. This can be a signature scent. Yes, it's just mm -hmm. the bottle you're going to get is about this big for mm -hmm. 325 hours with tax. It's just it's not worth it to me. But if you want to buy it, go right ahead. The women do like this fragrance. So mm -hmm. in that fact, you I believe you should get compliments with this fragrance here. It's a very big blast of cherry, you know, so. For something that expensive, you're probably going to be the only one wearing it. Yes. That's, all, that's, that's a good note because you buy a fragrance like this, you'll probably be the only one in your neighborhood or in your town or where you live at that has this fragrance on. So people will ask you what it is. Mm -hmm. And I can guarantee you that most people won't buy this fragrance yes. unless they have a sale going or something like that, maybe 20% mm -hmm. off. But most people aren't. So I'd like to appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you like men's fragrance reviews, unboxing, free giveaways, all you have to do is to click the subscribe button right now, hit the like button, show your support, and leave a comment below if you subscribe to the channel so I can enter your next fragrance giveaway on November 3rd. Me and my girlfriend are going to post names out of a little bag, and if you win, um, you'll win the free fragrance I have. Just email me. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you girls for being on this channel. I appreciate it a lot. Have a nice day, guys. Bye. Bye.